The state of Israel and the Jewish people are committed to improving the lives of people the world over, enabling them to help themselves and provide for a better future. Well, the analogy that comes to mind is when you plant a seed and you water it and the sun shines on it and you nurture it and it becomes a plant and it gives flowers and it gives more seeds and those seeds are planted and then there's more nurturing and more seeds are planted and there's more nurturing and before you know it you have forests and you have gardens and you have everything to beautify the world. It is our aim to offer a new generation of creative human and technological solutions to overcome challenges and enable development through empowerment and know-how. In the words of the prophet Isaiah, I will also give you for a light unto the nations that my salvation may be to the end of the earth. We are committed to a partnership for a better world, sharing Israel's unique experience and technical expertise wherever they may be relevant and useful. We can get more experience from the agricultural system of Israel, and it's very interesting, really. One thing is that we can feed our country. We can, if we can implement this Israeli experience. First time when I arrived to the location, to the site, I just found nothing. And it was a desert, kind of desert area with some bush. And to bring this dry area, desert area, to make it green, and to see the happiness of the people that they were the participants in this project, that was great. And uh, it will go with me all along because I remember the faces of the people. My goal is to make children happy and that they should be enjoying their life and learning while they are happy and while they are enjoying the life. Easier and better to teach a child than to correct an adult. And through this workshop, I hope that I would be able to help Filipino teachers and Filipino parents to teach children better such that when they grow up to be adults, not much correction would be needed. The kindergarten teachers were absolutely flabbergasted, amazed that from nothing, these children could become active, positive children. In Kenya, we don't have the facility for deaf education. We do not have yet interpreters that are enough. I think Israel can help Kenya in terms of capacity building for personnel. Drop by drop by drop, the impact is really tremendous. Thanks to the efforts of Mashav, People around the world have learned to associate Israel with effective programs and groundbreaking solutions to some of the developing world's most difficult and urgent problems. In my country, we see patients who are terminally ill of the AIDS disease. These are patients who are dying. What Israel has managed to achieve is to turn the dreadful AIDS disease into a kind of chronic illness. As long as you are on treatment and the treatment is started early enough and you get regular checkups, you can live for long and you live a healthy life. The children that suffer from infections in my country are going to be the, the main people who are going to benefit from it, but also all the doctors who see this type of patients. I remember a 20-year-old girl with the diabetes that was blind. The first thing that she did was going to the mirror to look at herself. And I asked her, what, what are you doing? The first thing that you're doing is going to the mirror. She said, yes, I'm 20 years old. Last time I saw myself in the mirror, I was 16.
think that Israel is an example to the world of a country that has developed by its own means, but it's, it's an example of how they can share. We see in a very concrete way the friendship that Israel has towards, or the attitude, the good attitudes that Israel has towards Ethiopia. A vision of Israel, you know, you have a far-sighted you know, vision, and, and I'm really happy to see you have uh, translated it into reality. It's very important for us to be cooperating together, working together, so that we can improve uh, the livelihood of our people, promoting better understanding between our people. I think everybody should support programs like this, not only in Israel, but everywhere. This open-heartedness, this gesture of friendship, this gesture of love, this wanting to deal you know, with one another and help one another is a very strong message that I think all world leaders should get. And this is a, this is a message that I'll, be, I'll go with back to my country. By doing this, uh, Israel is promoting its culture, its, uh, its people to the rest of the world. So if we put into practice what we have seen in Israel, then the people will not go hungry anymore. This place has done a lot of wonders and advances. Mashaf is sharing this knowledge with uh, uh, different countries, developing countries willing to help. I feel that uh, I'm doing something good for, for people. There are a lot of things that I will uh, remember about Israel. I think that in the long run, the impact is really tremendous. The Israeli government must be doing something right. All these people becoming good ambassadors in their country when they are going back after visiting Israel. United, our vision of a better world can transform dreams and aspirations into reality. From El Salvador and Costa Rica to Kazakhstan and China, Mashav is making an impact, strengthening Israel's relations worldwide and empowering developing nations to bring progress and prosperity to their own people.